Hi guys and welcome to Tech with Theo. Today we're talking a bit about the Samsung phones and how you can use them with Samsung DeX to make them into a computer. So here I've got a Galaxy S8 Plus. Samsung DeX supports most Samsung S and Note phones normally from about 2018 and newer. So do look up and see if your model is supported. Okay, first and foremost, what you're going to need. So you can see with my overhead cam here, I've got a Bluetooth mouse, a Bluetooth keyboard, the Samsung phone, and then a USB-C to HDMI cable, or you can use a USB-C to C cable if that is what your monitor supports. But I'm using just a very, very cheap monitor, which will get the job done, and let me show you how Samsung DeX works. Firstly, get your Samsung phone and plug in your HDMI cable. You're gonna see HDMI connected come up on the Samsung phone, and if your model supports Samsung DeX, then if you look at the monitor, Samsung DeX is gonna come up on the screen. Super, super great. Then what I'm gonna advise you to do is on the phone still go into settings and Bluetooth, and then you can connect your Bluetooth devices. Now I've got mine connected. So I've now got the Samsung phone, the Bluetooth mouse and the Bluetooth keyboard connected, which will allow me to control the phone on this desktop screen. And in the meantime, as you can see here, you can still use your Samsung phone. So it means you can still be using it while you're working on the computer. Okay, I'm gonna move you a bit closer to the monitor and I'm just gonna demonstrate exactly how this is gonna work. So I'm using the Bluetooth mouse and the Bluetooth keyboard to control it. First and foremost, you've got your apps that are already downloaded on the phone. This phone has not got my accounts on, it's just been reset and sat around. So it's just got the basic Samsung apps on it. But I've opened up Chrome already and what I'm going to show to you here is how to get desktop apps to work on this device or how to get them to run in a desktop format. So as you can see here, when you open Chrome, I've got YouTube up and you can see it's running in the desktop format, even though it's running through the Samsung phone. So first and foremost, how do you make sure every website you go on through your Samsung phone, through DeX, is always in desktop mode? You're gonna go to the three right hand dots on Google Chrome, you're gonna go to settings. In the settings menu, you're gonna go to site settings and then you're gonna press on desktop sites. When you see this, you'll be able to control which sites are desktop sites and which ones you want to be mobile sites. So I'm gonna turn on desktop sites so that every single site I go on when I'm using my phone and on Samsung DeX is a desktop site. If you're still going to be using your Samsung phone, like it's not an old phone, it's not just gonna be used for a computer, if it's your main device and you still want Chrome to be on mobile view, you can open a website and then you can click whether you want desktop view or mobile view. So I can turn desktop site off and it reloads it. So I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about what this can offer you. So first and foremost, you've got applications like Word. Now, obviously this isn't going to run exactly how it would on a computer. This is still running off a mobile phone, but the versatility this gives you is it means you can have two windows side by side. So if I drag my Word window next to my Chrome window, you can be working on two apps at once, just as you would on a Windows computer, on a Mac, anything like that. You can drag things over and you have control over where apps are located on your screen. It gives you a very desktop versatile like setup. You could even have a third app down the bottom. So I've got here on the left hand side a Word document and then on the right hand side I've got Chrome loaded up. You can see I can have them side by side just as any normal computer two apps at once. Now you can see here, this is not the exact Word you would get on a desktop device. It's sort of a mobile version of Word, but it's still got some of the desktop features. So you've still got your main menu up here and you have got more formatting options, but things like text, fonts and sizes seem to be either in hidden menus or perhaps not necessarily readily available. My point here is, while it does give you the opportunity to use Word, it is not exactly the same as you'd get on a desktop computer. What Dex is offering is an alternative to your computer. This could be for simple day-to-day -day tasks, or this could be if you haven't got a computer. And I think what I've demonstrated is some apps like Chrome work great in desktop mode, others work great in typing and basic tasks, but perhaps are still not available in the desktop mode. In terms of functionality on Samsung DeX, important things you may need to know. Notifications are down here on the left. All your information such as your phone's battery, anything that's open like the Wi-Fi, the volume is also all down here. Screenshot, there's a very, very nice button there. You can hear the phone vibrate, but there's a super, super handy feature there. So you can just screenshot anything on your screen and then you can allow it to save that. You have also got minimized windows and things down here, so you can have more than one app open and easily move between them, opening them, closing them, and generally it's decently fast. One thing to note in terms of controlling is if you do not have the Bluetooth keyboard and the Bluetooth mouse, but you do have it connected to the monitor, on your Samsung phone, what you can do is you can drag down from the notification center and you can click use phone as a touchpad. It's a simple option that's in your notification center. And then I'm gonna show you here from the overhead. You can drag around with your finger like a mouse pad or a trackpad. And then as you'll see on the screen here, what my finger is doing on the Samsung phone is controlling the screen. That means someone who has a Bluetooth keyboard, but perhaps doesn't have a mouse can still easily use Samsung DeX. 
Samsung Dex does offer an alternative to other devices, but it is limited by the apps you can get on the Play Store. I do believe there is also a store for Samsung Dex. If you press here, look, it says optimized apps in the Galaxy Store. Apps specifically designed for Samsung Dex are available on the Galaxy Store, and it seems to imply here that these ones must be able to work in desktop mode. So there are apps available that do work, just do consider not all of them are gonna work the same. So while Chrome works great in desktop mode, Word does work, but it's more in a mobile scaled up view. If you've got an old Samsung phone laying around that is compatible or your current Samsung phone, this is a great feature and I hope I managed to explain to you how to set it up with a keyboard and mouse, how to make it work on the computer, how you can control it if you don't have a Bluetooth mouse and just demonstrate how well some apps work, how some are less optimised, but generally what a great idea and innovation this was from Samsung.